hello everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog i thought i'd do a little weekend vlog we're kind of like already through saturday but i forgot to take my camera with me this morning so we're starting it now but basically i went out this morning i had to go do a little chemist warehouse run so i'll do a little haul for you guys a bit later on i'm just just got in home and i actually just got rid of my dining table so i have the space now all of this space here oh you want these I'm just about to put your dinner on though. It's okay, you can have them. But that, I now have this big empty space where my um, table was, but I'm actually going to turn it into a little play area for the boys. I got rid of my table because I just collect stuff. It's just a collector. Fluffy in the background. We need to turn that down. It pretty much just collects a whole bunch of crap on it. I don't use it as a dining table. Archie has his own little table that he sits at. So I thought I'd just get rid of it and turn that area into a play area. I needed like a, like a dedicated area for this stuff. Tommy's like up and about now. So um, I need a place where I can kind of lock my way. So I'm going to make that a play area. I'll do that tonight when the boys go down um, and get a baby gate and stuff. So that I've got like a dedicated space for their toys because they're currently in the lounge and like yeah, I just rather have the lounge as a proper lounge without toys and have like a dedicated play spot. So that is what that area there will be um, later on tonight. But now I have nowhere to put all my stuff. So it just kind of forces me to put everything away. Um, but yeah, I'm just about to put the boys dinner on um, and get them sorted. And then I will come back and give you guys a haul. And we'll do some re reshifting of things tonight. My son has been very grumpy all day. That's driving me insane. Anyway, dinner time. Alright, kids are down. Um, and I'm having a little glass of wine. I'm also watching Love Island. But I thought I'd show you guys the things that I picked up from Chemist Warehouse today. I'm having a nice little, let's do a little wine taste test. It's this one here. I, I'm not going to drink this whole bottle. So I'm probably just going to have this and that'll be it. Um, but I want to show you guys what one I purchased. It's called Stables. Um, the Pinot Noir. Um, I haven't tried this one before. I just picked it up from the shop when I went earlier. Um, so let's have a little taste test. My favourite wine is Pinot Noir. Love a red. I used to be like a, a Moscato girl. Very sweet. But um, I don't like that anymore. I'm not really a Moscato fan anymore. I like Prosecco, this, and it also had a Sav, Savion, Savignon, <laughs> I can't say it with my New Zealand accent, um, a Savignon Blanc last week. Um, and it wasn't too bad either. But back on my Pinot Noir because we love that. Oh, that actually reminds me of a wine that I tried in Australia. I went to, um, is it Hunterville? Maybe. I went to, like, this wine tasting, um, like a wine country in Australia. I'm pretty sure it was Hunter, Hunterville. I can't remember, but it tastes like a wine. Quite, um, it tastes like a wine I had there, but it's quite, um, like, neutral. Not too sharp. I like it. I also put it in the fridge. I do put my red wines in the fridge because I like a cool drink. I don't know. I know you're not supposed to put red wine in the fridge, but I really like it. So, yeah. That's really nice. A very easy drink. I um, love that. Anyway, let's get into my little chemist warehouse haul. Actually, before we do that, I want to show you guys these cute little pajamas. I went and met my friend Ruby today. Um and because she lives close to where I was like gone lives like close to the chemist warehouse I go to and she bought the boys some pajamas for their birthday they're from Peter Alexander look how cute these are got the little top I love Peter Alexander pajamas they're just so soft and nice and then the little bloomers these are Tommy's ones how cute are those I think those are Absolutely adorable. And then she got matching ones for Archie. And same sort of thing, but Archie's obviously just shorts and not bloomers. But cute little top and cute little shorts. They are so adorable. I thought those were so cute. I wanted to open those and show them. But 
yeah, we went to Chemist Warehouse today. Honestly, I haven't been to Chemist Warehouse in ages. I used to go all the time, but I just, like, haven't been veering out of, like, my, I guess, town that I live in. Um, yeah, because I have to drive, like, 30, 35 minutes to get to the Chemist Warehouse. I don't have one near me, but, um, yeah, I went today. Everything... I had needed so many things and a lot of the things I prefer to buy at Chemist Warehouse because it's just cheaper. Um, so yeah, I got a, like, got a lot of like just everyday things because that's what I just needed. Oh, I also picked up some things for Tommy. Have I crushed them already? I think I have. Um, they have such a good collection of like baby food there. So I got Archie some little, uh, Tommy some little snacks because they don't have a very good range of snacks at my supermarket for Tommy, so I picked up these from Kiwi Garden. They're probiotic yogurt corn and quinoa cakes, like current flavour. Those, I saw these little things. These are from Kitty Licious, and these are strawberry and banana smoothie melts. They sound delicious. Um, and then these little, I think I've broken these. Um, from the same brand, these are little raspberry, raspberry crispy, I can't talk, raspberry crispy tiddlers. So those are so cute and I haven't seen them at my supermarket. And then I picked up two of these um, little pouch foods. I don't use these all the time. Most of the time I will give him like, like food he can eat himself or I'll make my own mash. But I like to just have a couple of these in the cupboard. So the mango chicken and coconut rice, which I know he loves. Um, and then, I've never seen this one before, this is sweet potato lamb and couscous. I think he'll like this because he liked another lamb one that I used to give him. So, yeah, just some little bits and bobs for Tommy. Um, and then, just random things for the house and for me. Oh, I forgot to give Archie this today. Bought him a little Frito frog. You can have that tomorrow. Um, I got a big refill of soap. I just refilled the soap dispenser in my bathroom and I had run out of like my refill. So I just got this one here. It's the panel of aloe vera and chamomile, chamomile soap. I got a new dry shampoo because I've been out of dry shampoo for a while. I was going to get the one that I normally get. I usually get the chlorine one. I know that I love that, but I just wanted to try something new. So I got the Seven Wonders Natural Hair Care Salon Grade Coconut Oil Dry Shampoo try i haven't used this before so we'll give it a go um just some little cotton tips i got a new toothpaste the oral b pro health complete defense system deep clean this was like two dollars 79 on sale so i picked that one up i actually wanted to get the mavis toothpaste i've seen it online um on tiktok i've seen people like purchasing it uh, they've got like a good like a cool little um stand at the chemist warehouse ultra stores we don't have an ultra store here in wellington i don't think um but i thought they just sold it at the normal ones as well um but i didn't see it there so i just ended up going for that one i needed a new eyebrow pencil because i ran out of my eyebrow pencil the other day i got this one here from makeup revolution it's the precise brow pen pencil just a like really thin brow pencil um i love thin ones i only ever really buy the thin brow pencils now i just like you can draw in individual hairs and it's just super, super fine i got some more mouthwash you guys <laughs> i've been out of mouthwash and my what do you call these dental floss things for a while now and it's kind of gross and i've just I've been holding off because they only sell my favourite um, dental flosses at Chemist Warehouse. They don't have them in any other one. I like these ones because they have a really thick band on them. So like, I feel like it gets more out. Um, so I've been waiting to go there and get them. So I'm really excited to use these tonight. Um, and they are mint flavoured ones. I haven't had the mint flavoured ones before. Um, and then I also got a mouthwash because I've also been out of mouthwash for quite some time. Um, but it's just so much cheaper at Kim's Warehouse than buying it at a supermarket. Like, I just refuse to buy it at a supermarket. So, yeah, but I got this one to try. This is the Oral-B 3D White Luxe Diamond Strong Clear Mint Mouth Rinse. I haven't tried this one before. I usually get Listerine, but um, I wanted to give this one a go. I got some um, Visa 
Vizine Clear Eye Drops. I bought these because I've noticed lately I have been haven't been like getting the most sleep and I've just been really tired throughout the day but my eyes are so red it's not even funny. They just look really bloodshot and like I look high if I'm being completely honest and I'm, I'm not high and I don't want anyone to think I'm high. I'm just really really freaking tired so yeah I um I needed to sort the red eye situation out so I got these. I got a new Sudocreme because we just needed a new one. I decided to, I've still got some, but I don't know how long they last, so I just got a new one. And then the last thing I got was um, a Femme Fresh Sensitive Wash. Um, yeah, just that there, which is a intimate um, wash for your private areas. I've tried a scented one before, and like, I just felt really weird putting like scented product down there, so I just wanted to get like, a basic one just a like a, a sensitive fragrance free one so yeah pick that one up and i'll give that a go and yeah that is my little haul basically i guess this is kind of like a hygiene haul i love watching people's hygiene hauls but yeah that's what i picked up from chemist warehouse all right good morning everyone it is actually now monday i didn't end up picking up my camera yesterday um i'm currently in the mall car park there's a woman in her car like directly opposite me and she keeps staring over here yeah I'm, I'm actually at the mall at the moment I'm just going to pop in my phone for the last two weeks has been broken so I need to go and get that fixed um we'll see what it's going to cost whether it's worth it to go and get it fixed or whether I just go and buy a new phone um but I really, really don't want to spend like $1,600 to like $1,200 to $1,600 on a new phone right now. I just really don't want to do that. So I'm going to go and see if like they can fix it and see how much it costs. Basically, the back of my phone um, was broken. I can't remember if I've told you guys this, but the back of my phone was broken. Um, and I think it's affected the battery because it's been like that for a while now. And I thought, you know, we'll just put a case on it. Who cares? I should have just got it fixed. It would have been a hell of a lot cheaper to just get it fixed. But, um, yeah. I just put a phone case, slapped a phone case on it and was like, it'll be fine. Now it's only works when it's on charge. So that's not ideal. So I'm going to go and have a look and see if I can get that fixed. Otherwise, I'll have to look into getting a new cellular device. But, yeah. That's our plan for this morning. I've just gone and dropped Archie off. We might have a little nosy while we're here. Um, and yeah, that's going to be our morning. I thought I'd continue the vlog today since I was supposed to make it a weekend vlog, but I just didn't end up picking up. What did I do yesterday? I just went and did some groceries and that was pretty much it. Tidied up the house. Oh, I put together the boys, like I filled that space that I showed you guys, um, where the dining table was. I put like the kids toys there. It's not how I want it yet. So, um, yeah, I'll show you that when I get home, but for now. Let's go and see if they can fix my phone. Like, look, it's literally, it's not working right now because it's not on charge. The car needs to be on, but yeah. Anyway, I feel, I'm really gutted because I usually take heaps of photos on, like, Archie's birthday. And because my phone had to be on charge, I didn't manage to get lots of photos and I ended up leaving my camera at home. So, yeah, I was super gutted about that. And I don't want that for Tommy's first birthday. I didn't want that for Archie's birthday either. But unfortunately, it's just what it was. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so we need to get it fixed ASAP. All right, back in the car now. And I got my phone fixed. I'm so happy. Guys, the woman who was, tell who I was telling you guys about before, who was sitting in her car just staring in front of me. She's still in there. Literally just looking at all the people, just people watching in their car. I got my phone fixed. I'm so stoked. I haven't been able to use my phone off of a charger for so long. It feels so good. So yay, I'm a happy girl. Um, and I didn't have to fork out for the phone, which I'm a new phone, which I'm super stoked about because I really did not want to do that. I did not want to buy a new phone right now. One, they're so expensive. And two, like I just, I hate buying new phones unless my phone is completely shit itself. I don't want to know, buy a new phone. Anyway, the dealio with my phone was that 
it had an inflamed battery um, and because the back of it, it he said it usually comes out the front like you'll see the, the screen start to lift um, but the because the back of the screen back of my phone was broken it was coming out the back so yeah that could have been potentially quite dangerous I think so I yeah he changed it for me luckily he had one more battery left for my phone so I didn't have to wait I didn't end up getting the screen fixed he said there's no point it's gonna cost you upwards of $300 to get it fixed um, which I will get it fixed eventually because I do want to get it fixed. It's like my phone's still perfectly fine. It just needed a new battery and it still and it needs a new screen. Um, so I probably will get it fixed at a later date. But you do need to send it away to get fixed. And I don't want to send my phone away right now. So yay, we got that sorted. And also look what I found. <gasps> I found these. The Carbonara Bulldog, um Ramen. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to have this for dinner. Um, but I was in just this random little store, store in the mall and they had them and I was actually thinking the other day I was like man I really want to try those I should try and find like an Asian grocery store near me I don't think there is any near me um, I'd probably have to go into like Wellington to find one um, but yeah I'm stoked I found it that's going to be my dinner tonight I brought a rotisserie chicken for dinner last night so I have a ton of that left and Tommy now wants me to drive the car, so I'm going to drive home and he's probably going to fall asleep now because it is way past his nap time. But I will talk to you guys when I get home. Alright, it is now the evening. I'm just about to make my dinner, so I thought I'd come on here and do some more vlogging since I didn't get much when I got home this afternoon. I went to go and clean my car because my car was filthy, absolutely disgusting. I've decided my children are no longer allowed to eat in the car because it just makes such a mess. Um, but yeah, I had to go and like vacuum the floor and stuff because it was just awful. So we got the car nice and clean and then we've just been chilling out this afternoon. But yeah, the boys are now down to bed and I'm going to cook this for dinner. I'm so excited because I've been, I've always watched like Michael Finch's cooking videos and he's always making these pulled up noodles running and I want to try it out for myself. They always look really, really yum. So I'm going to cook these for my dinner. I've got some chicken. I've got some leftover rotisserie chicken that I'm going to use as well. This is the car carbonara flavor. And apparently it's really good. I need to get you guys up higher. Alright, so basically you just cook these like normal noodles. Boil them for a little bit in some water. And then you add these. So, yeah. Anyway, I need to go and get this lounge clean because look at it there's stuff everywhere this is the little hold on I'll clean it up before I show you guys because it's just not tidy all right here is dinner I kind of already had a little try of it off camera and it is spicy I cooked the noodles or the ramen um and the sauce and the carbonara mix I didn't realize the bulldog duck sauce was like spicy <laughs> Well, I knew it was going to have a little bit of spice, but I didn't know it would be so spicy. But I added the whole packet, and I wish I had added, like, maybe half of that packet. Um, but yeah, it tastes nice, but it's going to be hot. Um, I also added a little bit of soy sauce in there, some salt and pepper, and some cream cheese, because it wasn't as creamy as I wanted it to be. Um, and it turned out creamy how I wanted it to be now. And then I've just added some cucumber, just for a little bit of crunch, and a little bit more neutral instead of hot, so... That's my dinner. This is like the little plate area that I've created. I need to do something else with it though. I would really like to get two pictures of the boys. Maybe like get a family photo or something of the boys and I. Or two just single photos of the boys in black and white and put them up there. I think that would look really nice. Um, and then I'd like to get like a cube storage here just to put um, like a singular toy on there to encourage them to play with like the toy as it is. So yeah um obviously not finished but um it's nice to have this space for the toys and have my lounge i mean other than these two things toy free that needs to go away or over here actually um and then yeah i've just got like a basket of stuff there but i've got nowhere to put the basket over there so i've just left it over here for now um but yeah anyway i'm gonna go and eat my dinner oh my god i'm halfway not even halfway through my bowl. 
and oh my god these are so spicy they are so spicy my, i'm tearing up they're so delicious but they are so spicy like hot it reminds me of that time i did the spicy noodle challenge with my friend gabby oh my goodness these are hot i'm trying to add some mayonnaise kind of weird but also kind of good to see if i can kind of neutralize it a little bit that's a lot of mayonnaise you know scoop some of that out yuck so fucking spicy i can't even deal my mouth is on fire i don't know if you can tell okay that's definitely made it a little bit more bearable i will go with that they are really yum not gonna lie though when i opened the carbonara packet it really reminded me of those like pasta packets like the sauce just looked like one of them um yeah okay that's a little bit better the mayonnaise is made a little bit better if you're not good with spice or like i'm pretty good with spice but like this is very hot i think i was expecting more creamy than a hot packet of noodles god i look like a steak right now um but yeah maybe just add half the packet because it's yeah very very heated Alrighty, i don't actually know where we are with this vlog at the moment i can't rem i think i vlogged like a couple of days ago i can't quite remember but um yeah anyway it's now wednesday um and i thought i'd come on here and end this vlog and start a new one but i went to salvation army this morning to do a little bit of thrifting i'm actually looking for a new table which is funny because i just got rid of my old table and like it seems silly to go and buy a new one straight away or like try and find one but i'm looking for a smaller one i know i'll know exactly what i want when i see it i have seen like a couple in like secondhand stores but i'm looking for like kind of like a mid-century round table three to four seater table so i think i'll know when i see it so i'm just going to constantly go back and have a look and see if they have one that i like they didn't today however they did have a few other things that i saw so i'll show you guys what i picked up I got a couple of baskets, just these two here. I love this one. I wish they had a second one of this one, um, but they didn't have a second one, so I ended up getting this one as well. But I got these for the boys. I thought um, these would make really cute Easter baskets because I want to do little Easter baskets for them this year. Tommy's too little to do like an Easter egg hunt, so um, I'm thinking I'll just get him a couple of things and pop them in this basket, but Archie's can do an Easter egg hunt, and I thought this was just the cutest wee basket and I can put some other little bits and bobs in there so I got those for Easter which is coming up in is it April yeah I'm pretty sure it's April um my camera keeps going in and out and then I also found a couple of cute like jackets and jerseys I found this one for Archie this is literally brand new um and it's from a brand called oh it's from Uniqlo I thought it was um but it's literally brand new still got the tags on probably a little bit big for him at the moment but um I think I've said before I really like oversized jumpers on the boys so yeah I thought this was really cool I love Snoopy it's got Snoopy peanuts on it um and it says this is a cool life I just thought that was really cute and it was only six dollars so had to get that and then I also found this and I'm so excited about this it's adorable I found this for Tommy how cute is that it's just a little coat um it's a 12 to 18 month coat it's from a brand a British brand called Rotten Roy or Rot Roy um but it is just the most adorable little baby jacket I've ever seen and we are It'll be perfect for winter for him. We are, I guess not, we're still in summer at the moment, but it is starting to get a little bit cooler. So I'm starting to get like a few more um, like winter things for him because obviously he doesn't fit his last year's, or yeah, last year's winter clothes because he's grown so much since then. Um, but yeah, I found this little jacket and I could not pass it up, but it was only $6. I'm going to have a look at that brand online actually. Let's have a quick look. Oh, it's Rob Roy, not Rot Roy. Oh my god, cute. These are adorable. I think these are these are vintage. But yeah, this is a little vintage jacket for him. It's so so cute. Anyway, yeah, it's Rob Roy, not Rot Roy. But I just thought it was so cute. It's definitely gonna need a little bit of a dry clean because it does. It just smells dusty. It smells like it's been in a bag for ages. Um, 
but it is wool as well so it's going to be really nice and warm for Tommy in the winter but I just could not pass that up it was too cute I'm going to take it to the dry cleaners I've actually got a coat um, that I thrifted as well that I need to take to um, the dry cleaners before winter so yeah I'll take this one and also his one to the dry cleaners oh it's just adorable I'm obsessed so yeah but that's what I picked up from the Salvation Army I am going to go ahead and end this video here because I don't know how long it is but um, I'm sure we have enough footage because I think I've vlogged for, for quite a few days now it was supposed to be a weekend vlog and it's now Wednesday so yeah but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next one bye